coming up on the indoor so that Think about your bum barely moving out of the saddle. Part so that, of it is because you ride storm so much, circle down here so I don't yell. Your body is used to go, go, go. Yep. Go, right? Because that's what you have. That's what you ride 99% of the time. You have to keep your body that no matter what horse you get on, you have to adjust, right? So this is the best part about you learning how to ride 17 million different horses. You become a stronger, better rider because you have to adapt your riding to the animal underneath you. You can't tell the horse, just figure it out, this is how I ride. That's not how they work. They're not that smart. Love them dearly, but that's not how they work. So your job is to think, okay, when I ride Storm, my butt comes out of the saddle, and I kind of thrust forward, and I make that crock get bigger. When I ride Finn, I'm going to relax my seat. I'm going to let him just kind of plop me out of the saddle, and I'm just going to glide back down. Make my posting a little softer. That's my worst way too. Oh yeah, I know. That's kind of fun though. Widen your hands a little bit. I want you to think about actually going with his mouth with your hands. Instead of fighting back, push your hands forward when you rise, bend your elbows when you sit. Part of his head toss is because right now we're locking our arms, and so the rain is just going bump, 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 bump on his dick. So she's like, oh god, I can't move my head. So push your hands forward a little bit. Good. There you go. Rain swivel and bump his bit, he gets frustrated. That's better. It's a fake leaf. Lift your hands up off his neck. Higher. God, this chair is so comfy. So move, use your inside leg, push him over. I know it is really comfy. I think the cat feels it. Yeah. Lift your hands up. There. When his head goes down, you can put your hands down. When it doesn't, keep it up. Push him over. It's gone. <laughs> That's the best memory, though. No, the head, he's looking for the he leaf. He keeps looking head. for the leaf. Lift your hands up, look up, push them over. So when you get to the gate, you want to open up your right rein and start asking him to move into that open space between your right hand and his shoulder. So pull that right hand open, keep it open, pull him over. There, that's better. We're getting somewhere. Good job. Keeping that leg nice and quiet. Change direction within this circle. <laughs> but I'm still staying on the 
you know how that could have been made easier? Go like you're going down the center line. Finn's pretty good in tight circles, though. So, by rearing on her, she means that he felt like he was going to do it. Yeah, he shook his head and popped his head like this. Yeah. Well, we'll be watching the footage today. That's better. So same thing as your sister did, Gabby. Coming around that corner at F, we're gonna go to a sit trot and make him slow down in the sit trot, but keep your hands quiet. Turn your thumbs up, please. Tighten your knees, slow him down. Good, back to rise. Let's do it again. Apple, ask for canter once. One. Go back into your eyes. So when you go into your sit trot, when you feel him drop a gear into the slow trot, do two steps and ask for your canter. Okay, and then keep the trot. Excellent answer. Wait, 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 ask. Good, now keep that quiet. Lift your hand, tighten your thighs. Very nice. Feel how we're maintaining that canner? So how come cantering sets them off? Because he's been allowed to go faster. That's all right. That's okay. Let him walk for a second. So does he did a nice transition. We'll accept it. So does... I think part of it is he wanted to stop for so long, and he's been made to go forward whenever he wants to stop. So now he's getting into the canter. Because he's not 100% balanced at it, he's still a little rough. So he's struggling to use all of his muscles to carry that canter. Now that he's starting to get fit enough, it's easier to hold that canter that he just had. But it's also easier on a corner. As soon as you go straight down a line, straight down a wall, it's hard to maintain that balance and cadence because you're not on a turn. So it's easier for him to go faster and just run full yeah, out running down a hill. than it is for him to maintain a nice... Correct. It's like when we jump a line. Goes into it slow, down, down. Yeah. Shorten your reins a little bit. And now right away, lift your hand and talk to him. No, no, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But if you sing it, he hears the words, he'll start to get the cadence. Keep doing it no matter what. Loud enough that he can hear you. She's not a singer. Talker. I don't care if she doesn't have to sing it. She can just talk it. This is fine. He can have his hissy fit, but he has to realize that through this hissy fit, you're not beating him. You're not making him go faster. You're just asking him to calm his jet. And he didn't have his sissy fit 20 minutes ago, so it's not because he's in pain. It's not because he's being asked to do something he's not wanting to do. Because you're not asking him to do anything differently than his, your sister did. Is he's it, just being a doorknob because he wants yeah. to be done. Yeah. He's either, let me go fast or let me be done. He needs to work through these, but on our end of it, we can't be dragged into that fight. We need to stay neutral and just keep riding. It's like Dory and Nemo. Just keep riding, just keep riding. And eventually he's going to realize that he can't get you wound up and he's going to be good. I think that God wanted us to have two lessons on Finn. Like, I think Finn needed two lessons today. And him doing that is fine. He's not bucking, he's not doing anything, he's not even rounding his back. He's just softening, putting his head down. Good, I like that you released him there, that was nice.
Let's do our sit trot again from K. And quiet him down. He's going to learn to come back to you first. We're just sit trotting. Back to rise. Good. He has to realize that because we change from sit to rise does not mean fast or slow. Sit, breathe, tighten your thighs. Good boy. Rise. Don't let him speed up. Very nice. And sit, tighten your knees. Excellent. Ask for canter once. If he doesn't give it to you, stay sit trotting. Slow him down and go back to rise. And sit. We're not going to ask this time at all. We're just going to anticipate. That's right. Back to rise. Good. Breathe. Ask for canner. Good. Slow. When you ask for your canner, make sure you have one little kiss. But I don't mind the little, the little responses. He's not bolting forward. That's what we're looking for. Is that he just stays calm. Ask for canner. Good. And calm. Sit your canner for a minute. Open your outside rein. Lift your inside rein. Push him off your inside leg. When he drops his shoulder, he has ammo to speed up. When he elevates his, yes. There you go. He doesn't like to bend this way. This is like his horrible bending way. There. Push him out again. Feel those moments of greatness. That's okay. Rise it. And go back to sitting. Don't canter this time. Just sit him out and balance him back to you. Good boy. Good boy, and rise. Good boy, half halt. Okay, so that's where he's speeding up. So we're gonna sit drop through that corner and not rise till we hit the second barrel. Because he's speeding up. Every time he passes F is when he's trotting away faster. So stay sitting. And trot rise, good, much better. And sit. You're going to stay sitting. You're going to ask him to canter as you head towards K. So you're waiting until you're about one step away from K and then ask him to canter towards your sister. Breathe. Slow him down. Look up and canter. That's good. Inside rein up. Yep. Make him work his body. There are moments of greatness. This is the I'm really stiff to the left. I'm going to show you a really fun exercise you can do at a walk. Good. And sitting trot. Keep sitting trot. Change direction down the center line. Rising. That's it. Find that quiet trot. Way better. Brain cells are clunking back into his head. Sit trot. Breathe out. Tighten your thighs. Whenever you half halt, tighten your knees, your thighs, and then let them go. Yes. Again, tighten your flickle hill. Flickle hill. What the heck is that? And canter. Want to ask? Oh, that was stunning. Quiet. Lift your hands. Getting tired, so it's harder for him. Big half halt. Tighten your knees. There. Big half halt. Good. That's okay. Sit trot. 
This time when I ask you to canter, you're gonna go literally two strides and come back to sit trot, okay? Breathe, squeeze your fingers gently, squeeze them again, and again, and again, and again, and again. We're gonna let them get that out first. And again, squeeze your fingers. Every time you squeeze your fingers, squeeze your thighs. Wait two seconds. Quietly ask, one ask. Whoop, balance. He really did want to go and he stumbled, that's fine. And he wasn't running away, that was lovely. Half halt, and ask, and sit trot. Ha ha! And halt. Are you dying? Yeah, for a minute there I thought that was in Brandon's lesson. <laughs> Let him walk. That was really nice. He needs lots of praise for that. So part of this... Was? Yeah, well, is. His big thing is he gets tired and he's not physically fit to carry himself. Yeah. And he's like, fine, I'm just going to run and lean in. No, you're going to carry yourself nicely. But once he does it, we have to reward him. So Sophie and I are catching Pony. horse ponies. It's this thing, you gotta twist it. We're catching no, ponies. No, wait, wait. Oh, silly. She's cute. And I'm getting Newton. He's cute. He's like, don't pick me. Don't pick me. I'm picking you. You are a very, very good boy, Finny boy. That was a lot of work for you. Oh, he's sweating. Alright, that is it. That is for, for today. So, Tim thinks Spook said something that he's seen before, but he has not seen it in like half an hour. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.